Hi everyone, welcome back to a little vlog. Um, it's going to be like a vlog slash like what I eat in the week because I'm back on like a proper health kick to shift some weight. Um, and just because now I've got my boobs out, I'm kind of now allowed to like, I can't do the gym, but I can walk, which I've been doing, and I'm going to start spin on Monday. Today's Monday, but I'm going to start next week. And that gives me like four weeks um, of healing. So, because of that reason, because I am trying to be more active and I've got a new plan, I want to eat good. So, because as well, I keep getting spots and in order for your body to heal, we're having a little slight issue with this stitch under here. So I'm thinking if I eat good, there we go, you know drill. So I thought I've just been to, I uh, well I've actually had such a productive day, I've been up early, been a massive walk with the dogs, um, we went to b and Asda, did work stuff, had lunch. I did try and film lunch but my camera wasn't in charge so I'll just tell you what I had. Um, but I thought I'd show you what I got. So I got these which I did realise is pasta now so obviously gluten. That'll be fun. That'll be good on a sore belly but anyway. Um, but it's got like 17 grams of protein so I thought they're good just for lunch. However John West, could I make a request and say we change packaging? Resembles cat food. It does. Um, so I got this, so basically because I'm just on my own this week, dinner wise I've learned that if I have too many options that's how much, that's why there's wastage. So I just bought chicken for this week's dinners. So two nights will be chicken and black bean and boiled rice and then two nights will be a chicken pasta dish. So this is the stuff that I buy from B&M, so so good guys. It can go such a long way, like it can make a lot of dinners. So um, I usually have that with peppers and onions and chicken and green beans and boiled rice and it's honestly just as good as the Chinese. Um, so I got that. Now I did get Lucky Charms because at the weekend I do sometimes like a little treat as a breakfast. Um, they're gluten free. Can't believe that. Wow. So we got them. Um, I picked up some hand cream just because my wee hands seem to be getting awful dry these days. Excuse my nails, my nails are well overdue, but I was holding off until transmit so I can get some festival vibe nails. Um, right, I got them as like a quick lunch. Um, never had them before, but they look quite nice. Um, I got some rice. Um, so flora, I've got like shit. Did you see that? Oft, oft. Run and get it, be named guys. So I got that, I got some oh. vanilla syrup, I got biscuits for the dogs, I picked up some dental wipes, I picked up a wee container because I always, when it's just me, never have anything else to put the other meal in. So that's for that. Now I picked up this, just one, the caramel twiddle on um, a last edition. Crisps wise for eating good and like try to be snacky. I got quavers and what's it? Sterla always quite good like a, for like Love Island and that's on. I got vegetables. Had to buy a phone charger because I lost a phone charger. Then bought one out of the shop. It was fifty pounds the wrong one. Um, so for dinner tonight, I'm going to pop up the recording here. It's this girl I follow on TikTok. She's our meals are so good. So I'm making that dinner. So I got mozzarella light, which I didn't know was a thing. Um, I got them for my morning coffee with bourbon. I got some fruit. I got for the washings. Does anyone else feel like, and this is a pure boring chat, but does anyone else feel like tablets, like the ones that you put in the machine are shite? I feel like it doesn't like okay it comes out smelling nice but I don't feel like my clothes are clean so I went back to the good old powder so like I was showing you that's my tonight's dinner so I got a chili red pesto um 
got tomatoes, got some gluten free bread, the multi seed one. I've not had that one, I don't think, before. Um, I've got the dogs, cook chicken because I'm good to them. I've got avocados, eggs, chicken, and my good old faves, the gluten free sausages. So, yeah, that's as exciting as my my shopping haul gets. Um, for lunch today I had salmon. Um, I just buy like, the salmon already cooked fillets and I pop them in the air fryer for like, five minutes and it gives them a wee heat and crisps them up. And I had that with a stir fry mix. So I didn't have any rice or noodles or anything. I just had like the vegetables and salmon. It was actually really good because they put like, like a Chinese stir fry mix. It's got like that, is it pak choy? Chop, is it pak choy? Sorry if I don't offend anyone, sorry if I'm not saying that correctly. And like cabbage leaves and stuff like that was actually really nice and really filling. So the next couple of days you are gonna see a shit ton of washing and then look at my haul. Because today basically I was actually meant to meet Megano today for content, but I had to push it to tomorrow because I've got too much to do today. Today's a house day. So I'm going to do loads of washings and then I'm going to tidy most of the house, try and get as much done as possible. Then we're going to go another WALK with the dogs. And then I'm going to open all my PR packages and sort outfits for tomorrow. So we'll do all that today. What have I got on this week? Tomorrow I meet Megano, so I'll try and vlog when I'm with her. Um, I'm pure raging. I placed a massive, massive, massive order with Nasty Gal and it's not arrived yet. I paid next day delivery and that was last week, so bit of a nightmare. Um, so if that does come in time, I'm going to film a festival haul tomorrow. And then what else have I got on this week? Wednesday, nothing I don't think. Thursday, I'm going to the Aquarius office with all the Aquarius girls for something really exciting that you guys can't know about yet, but it's going to be very, very soon. But it's very exciting. And then I'm going to get my nails done, so I'll take it with me. I'm going to show you my festival nails. I need to try on my transmit outfit. Might do that tomorrow, actually, because I'm going to put tan on tonight. I'll do that tomorrow, and I'll show you. Um, so transmit on Friday, we'll vlog that. This might be a big video, by the way. Do we care? Okay. Um, that's Friday. Saturday, hee-haw. So I'll probably finish the vlog and get it up, actually, because on Sunday I'm going to Glen Eagles posh gal that I am, um, for lunch with Nina, who owns any eyelash, that's not a name, but that's what I refer to it as, eyelash, um, who is one of the most um, talented photographers and videographers you're going to get in Glasgow, and she's very good at social media, and then Alex, so yeah, I think Emily was meant to come, but Emily, as I always, is a jet setter, as much, I would love her life, um, I think she's in another country that day from what I heard from the group chat. And then Callie can't come because it's, I'm sure it's her baby's birthday. Or is it someone's birthday? Something's happening regarding Mickey Mouse, she told us. So yeah. But on Friday we're celebrating my friend and McClure's birthday at well, Transmit, so I will get very drunk. Looking forward to it. But yeah, I just want to show you this and I'm going to show you all my healthy meals. So I'm going to get healthy because I've got a holiday in four weeks. And I'm going to look good on it. I've got a feeling. I have a feeling. Also, how much flatter are my boobies? No, I can't really tell right now, but... Like, I can't even do that anymore because they're so high up, I don't even need to do that. Okay, guys, so... Dinner time. Absolutely starving. I'm in the middle of trying to finish a YouTube video. For some reason, my Wi Fi, my laptop, just everything doesn't seem to be working just now. Um, so, it's taking me a lot longer. But I basically nearly got everything done on my list today. It's been such a productive day. Um, so, now I'm just having dinner and then what I'm going to do is feed the dogs dinner and then W-E-L-K the dogs and then I'll have, I'll come in and watch Love Island. 
haven't been managed to finish upstairs so I want to try and finish that before I go to bed. If I don't have time I'll just need to work out a plan, do it tomorrow. Or Wednesday because I don't think I have any plans. So yeah, for dinner, obviously I showed you that video, but I'll pop it up again. Um, it's just that Gil Oats TikTok. I'm adding peppers to it, just for some bulkiness to the meal. Um, but the tomatoes are in the oven already. Um, and yeah, I'm just adding some red peppers. I'm also going to cut up like a bunch of um, jalapenos. And then what else do we need to cut up? I need to watch the TikTok actually to see how much mozzarella. Meanwhile, to boil your pasta, so I used 220 grams of dry pasta, then add the chicken to the pasta with some red pesto and chopped spinach. Season well and then add to the cook. So I think I could do a bit much pasta. So this is it here. I've sorted the dogs there. We cook chicken as well. We're just waiting on a wee vlog uploading uh, a haul even. Um, but I think it looks really good guys. So let's plate up. Try and do it without burning myself. is dinner guys how good does that look bon appetit bitches no it's far too hot so i'm not going to burn my tongue i will yeah i'm going to feed the dogs and then i'll let you know how it tastes this is so red from cooking Oh my god, that's... Guys, that pasta is... Ten out of ten. Wow. I'm just back from doing a food shop, guys. I'm just sitting down. Do you ever just get days where you just want to sit and do nothing? That's, that's me today. Um, but I forgot I need to take my vitamins. I literally have an alarm now where when I up and I have my coffee, they sit beside my coffee and I've just honestly, this morning I forgot to take it and I was out and about and I was like, I ain't missing a day with these vitamins, no way Jose. So yeah, so basically guys, these are the vitamins I have been taking um, by this brand Ritual. Um, I've only just started them guys, so I don't know if I've, I think I have mentioned it before, didn't I, like before I got the boobs redone that I was starting to take vitamins, so this was one of them. So these are the multivitamins, um, but this brand do loads of different ones. They do one specifically for gut, for loads of different things. These ones are vegan, cruelty free, and I just take it every morning my coffee, unlike today, but I was in a bit of a rush today. Um, these ones are bougie, like these are bougie, bougie. Excuse the nails, are actually about to get done today, but look at these. Look at that, how bougie is that? Watch me take a tablet though, I'm the worst. <sighs> Ever since I've been wee, I've never been able to swallow tablets. 
I know it's, it's not getting easier the older I get. So guys, this is just me on the Ritual website. Now Ritual are basically offering you 20% off your first month of vitamins or protein by going on the website. And all you need to do is use my discount code ABBY20 at the checkout and you will get a wee 20% off. So I'll definitely pop the link in the description box for you right at the top in case anyone's want to check it out. Um, and you can obviously check out all the instructions on the website and kind of like what, how, the goodness, because it goes into really good depth. Um, and there's loads of other vitamins. Like there's ones like for prenatal, there's ones for gut. Um, so yeah, there's loads of different ones to choose from if you're maybe not looking for a multivitamin, but I definitely recommend these. Um, and they're like pepperminty. So like after it, you kind of feel like you get really nice breath. It's a strange one, I swear. But no, I absolutely swear by these bad boys. So check them out. Don't mind me. Hi. Mm. You used to are so affectionate. There's something about a fresh bottle of water. So, got some work stuff done with Megano there. Um, and then we went away, we stopped round the shops. Anyone else feel like when they get in, the first thing they want to do is take their rings off? Or just me? Um, so I thought we could do it. Like a little haul. So I went a bit wild spending today and money that I definitely do not have, but we'll figure it out. Um, sorry darling. Um, so we went to Primark. Um, we got this little top I just thought was quite cute, like just with like joggers or jeans. Um, so I got that. I got this swimsuit, which, how cute. How cute is that for Lanza with the girls? I thought with like a little orange skirt and like, or like a blue skirt, I'm thinking more orange, like orange sandals. Got that. Got a new pair of pajamas, which is not needed because I just burst my pajama drawer. But pardon me, Coco, no bite your skin, no bite your skin. Yeah, so you end up with so legs, so legs. But look at how cute these are. Well, they're just plain jeans, but they're the comfiest PJs. Like I've got them in so many colours. So I thought I'm going to treat myself and put on new pajamas tonight. I got this little clip. Like iridescent, can you see? Can you see that that's iridescent? I'm going to, obviously I'm going to transmit, so I think I'm possibly going to wear the silver skirt, which I do need to try on. Um, in fact, I'm going to, need to do that before I go. Anyway, so I got some silver jewellery in case I decide to go with the silver. Then I picked up just the usual socks. I've got a pack of black and white because I'll be wearing my dot boots. And then I got these jeans from Primark. So I'm hoping they fit. Hoping, hoping, hoping they fit. So yeah, that's my little haul from Primark. And I also spent a fortune on Urban Outfit, which I'm, it's not a shop I usually go to, but Megano went in, so. I thought oh, I'll try it and somehow I ended up um, spending £180. I don't really know how that's happened. I might take some of it back. I'm going to try it on um, because it's not usually a shop that I suit. So I got these. just thought they were cute. Little pink. Um, what is that brand called? Is it It's Friends? It's Friends. Them. So I got them. I got the cutest bikini. How cute is that? With matching panties. 
just look very big actually, maybe I should have got a smaller size, but hey ho. Um, I got this dress, which is a dear thing, but I'm like, hey ho. I just thought that was quite nice. I don't know how I'll, if I'll suit that, but I'm going to try it on anyway. Um, I thought that was quite nice. And then I got new underwear, which was just stunning. How cute. So I got that with a matching panty, which again looks awful big, but hey ho. And then I got these sunglasses on sale for fibre. Are they squint? They are. Gorgeous. So I got them. And then how good does this hair clip look, guys? Huge. I'm going to test it out to see if it's any good. Because I never seem to be able to get my hair up all in a claw clip. It just never seems to be thick enough. Um, or big enough, even. Um, so I'm going to try... I'm going to see if I can get my hair up. I really love that bikini. I feel like that's a good choice for me. Um, let's do an experiment. Oh my god. Oh, don't tell me it's not going to be the one either. Right, so right now that's just going to need to... Isn't it boys and girls? So plan now. I'm going to get... Look at this me. I'm going to take my makeup off. And then I need to go to the Bly office. And then... What else I need to do? I need to go to some orders, sort some admin stuff. And I need to... Um, do Bly orders. I'm going to walk and then I'm going to get my boobs checked. Just one of them's just not... This one. Just underneath bits, just not really healing quite as well as what it should be. Hi. Come on. Be nice, Coco. I know you want to bite them sometimes, but you don't need to. Come on, now, yo. You want them involved as well? Okay. Come here. It's all right. It's okay, bear. Bear. It's okay. Don't panic. Why do you let a bully you? Come here. Come. Come now. Coco. I'm nudging the road. You be nice. Such a growl. Oh, what is that in the room? Oh, it's a fly. Shut myself. Excuse the bedding. I washed the bedding, but I honestly can't even bring myself to put it on. Like, I'm actually shattered, guys. Like, I'm so tired. Can you open that window now? Not that airing. Um, I'm basically, it's nine o'clock. It's not been on time. But, not tonight, I'm tired. I'm just going to, literally, I've got a bowl of cornflakes there. I'm going to get into bed eat them because I'm still a bit hungry today to be fair. I kind of skipped breakfast this morning, not intentionally. Um, I had a bought new cereal and I was barking. Um, or I put a lot of more meat in it this morning so I skipped breakfast and then my lunch I didn't eat the whole thing either. Which is strange but then my dinner, oh my god I just had, I had last night's pasta again. It was so good. Um, so yeah, 
went to the boob appointment so I've got like this new cream for that bottom but they said they're not concerned so that's good um, and it's got a wee bandage thing on it again um, so hopefully it's so funny there's like two wee girls across the road filming TikToks in the street I like wearing like wee like night cot pants god to be that young again be that bloody skinny she's like I could get the apple joint in. But yeah, I've done my skincare. I'm going to go to bed. Um, get a busy day again tomorrow. Thursday's quite not a casual day. It's quite still a mega busy day. Loads of meetings. But I mean, it's really sitting on my arse. So it can't be that hard. Whereas the last couple of days, it's been constant. Friday's drowned, but I need to try my outfit on tomorrow. And then I'm filming things all day tomorrow, so I'll take it with me. Get by it, do. I hate raw meal. No, yeah, I don't hate raw meal. But they are kind of fucking over right now. And there's nothing I can do because it's not my fault, it's raw meal's fault, but. Weird. How good are cornflakes? Oh. Excuse the bedding. I washed the bedding, but I honestly can't even bring myself to put it on. Like, I'm actually shattered, guys. Like, I'm so tired. Can you open that window now? I'm a bit erring. Um, I'm basically, it's nine o'clock. It's not been on time. But, not tonight, I'm tired. I'm just going to literally, I've got a bowl of cornflakes there. I'm going to get into bed, eat them, because I'm still a bit hungry today, to be fair. I kind of skipped breakfast this morning, not intentionally. Um, I had a bought new cereal and I was barking. Um, I put me on the wrong maintenance this morning, so... I skipped breakfast and then my lunch, I didn't eat the whole thing either. Which is strange, but then my dinner, oh my god, I just had, I had last night's pasta again, it was so good. Um, so yeah, went to the boob appointment, so I've got like this new cream for that bottom, but they said they're not concerned, so that's good, um, and it's got a wee bandage thing on it again, um, so hopefully, it's so funny, there's like two wee girls across the road filming TikToks in the street, I'd like wearing like wee like night cot pants, god, to be that young again, be that bloody skinny. She's like, I could get them devil joint in. But yeah, I've done my skincare. I'm going to go to bed. Um, get a busy day again tomorrow. <laughs> Thursday's quite not a casual day. It's quite still a mega busy day. Loads of meetings, but I mean, it's really sitting on my arse, so it can't be that hard. Whereas the last couple of days, it's been constant. Friday's planned, but I need to try my outfit on tomorrow. And then I'm filming things all day tomorrow, so I'll take it with me. Get by it, do. I hate raw meal. No, yeah, I don't hate raw meal. But they are kind of fucking over right now. And there's nothing I can do because it's not my fault, it's raw meal's fault, but. Weird. How good are corn? Guys, look at the state of me. It's actually a totally different night. I know the vlog ended literally in the same position, but oh my god, I'm exhausted. It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm just home from the Bly office. I've been there the whole day. There's still no bedding on my bedding. There's like no sheets on my bed. I'm in the same pyjamas as last night. Judge me if you wish. I'm actually knackered. But what a productive, literally the last three days. I think it's just been wee leaves. I'm really productive. But I got so much done today. I can't wait to go on my list and tick it all off. Um, 
you're not eating that biscuit, so your brother's getting them. Um, but basically, we had such a mare with Royal Mail. So if you've ordered from Bly, it will come via DPD. Just because I, when I was looking into Bly and looking into who seemed to be the best um, delivery company, a lot of like blogs and just like things in general, like I asked about and like just from like my own experience and I even like remember like my street Facebook chat was always like you never get any problems with DPD, like you don't put parcels in your bin and all that malarkey with a Royal Mail Hermes and all that can. So I decided to go with them as my delivery company. But for the sake of returns, I had to obviously get a PO box and I went with Royal Mail just because they were the easiest to kind of get a PO box with. Um, so, I had been fine for like a good couple of weeks and then I went to the PO box and the guy was like, oh, you've not got any anything there. And I thought, hmm, strange. Like, obviously I was over the moon because I thought, oh my God, there were no returns, but I thought, hmm, strange. And then I had a few people email me like, hi, like I've sent parcels and um, you've not like refunded me and all that. And that is my biggest fear. Like my biggest fear is anyone thinking like, I'm just holding on to someone's money because like, like I said, like a blazer at £60 is a lot of money in someone's bank balance. And if they're waiting on that coming back, I would hate to be the one holding on to that money. So I was up to high door, I was on the phone to Royal Mail, I went to the depot, I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? And I was like, the guy, can you double, double check? There's nothing there. He was like, nope, nothing there. And I was like, there has to be though. So all of the tracking for most of these customers, oh, I bit all my nails, like, my hair's getting caught. So yeah, most of the tracking was basically shown to the customer that yeah okay they'd sent it but I hadn't received it so like that was the only thing that went in my favour was that like thankfully it wasn't sitting saying delivered so like a lot of the customers were just so understanding which guys if it's any of you thank you um like everyone was like like I know you've not got it but it was basically telling the customer it went MIA which was just so so strange so this has been on now for about two and a half, three weeks and I was starting to freak out. So I'd, I'd filed two full complaints with Royal Mail and I'd asked all the customers to do the same. But the problem is with that, Royal Mail only refunds you £20 at like the customer. And see, because basically they were saying I had nothing to do with it, they wouldn't really speak with me. So even though I was like, but I'm the business, they're trying to get the money back. They were like, but you're not the sender, you're the receiver. And I was like... I thought I can't even fraud it and pretend that I'm we Leslie down the road, do you know what I mean? Like it has to be that person. So basically, um I'd been going to the depot loads every single day, constantly. Emailing um Royal Mail, phoning Royal Mail, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I went today and the guy was like, Where have you been? I was like what? He was like, where have you been? I was like, what do you mean? Where have I been? I was like, where have you been? Because it's usually the same guy. I was like, you've not been here? And he was like, have you seen your PO box? And I was like, is a parcel there? And he was like, yes. I was like, oh. I was like, oh my God, they've arrived. And he was like, they've been there for two weeks. I was like, you're, you're shitting me. I says, if you check your cameras, I have been here every single day some days twice a day and you're someone at yours in your system told me that they weren't there and he was like i've had that problem a few times now this week i'm like you've got to be shitting me i was like no but anyway i was just over the minute they were there so basically i had to go to the office today do i had loads of orders which i'm so so grateful for thank you guys so so much oh it, it blows me away when I get an order. Um, so I had to do loads of orders and then I had to do jobs for Forever Unique and some other jobs. And I'm absolutely livid because I wanted to film, I spent like £450 at Nasty Girl because I wanted to do a big festival haul and they only sent half my parcel. And it wasn't even like half of like full outfits, it was like an item that required the other item. 
they never sent. So I'm hoping it just turns up and I can maybe just do like a wee story haul on Instagram. So keep your eyes peeled on my Instagram and pop up. Um, because if it all does arrive, I definitely want to do a story haul for festival vibes. Um, but yeah, I was gutted because I planned on filming that today. But then I issued everyone's returns, so yeah, I've not stopped all day. I have not stopped all goddamn day. I want to look at my list. I've got another massive list. Look at that. Can you see? Want it. I've only got one more to do, I need to open my PR package from Megano, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to open that tomorrow morning first thing. So I'll show you that. Um, I've not actually had a minute to open up all my stuff. I need to get sheets on this bed. Look at her. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed. I've not even watched Love Island in tonight's uh, Return of Casa more. Um, is that? So I'm going to set an alarm up early tomorrow morning and watch it with a coffee. I much prefer watching the telly in the morning and what I do at night. Like I like getting up early in the morning and having my coffee and watching the telly rather than sitting in my cell at night time like bored. So um yeah we've got really fun things coming for Bly also guys that you will also all be involved in. So I'm really excited for that. Um, we're also, FYI, changing the sizes of our blazers, so all the sizes are getting made smaller because from feedback a lot of people were just saying that they were just too oversized for a lot of people. Um, which it's just so hard to kind of get it perfect because some people were like, obviously people who have kept their blazers are like, oh my god it fits me perfect, oh my god I love it, it's a perfect oversized fit. And then some people are like, oh it's too oversized, I would need it in a smaller size. So. We are updating our sizes, so we're going down to basically like a petite extra small, a small, and then we're going up to an XL, which will fit someone up to a size 18. Um, and our white shirt is going up to a size 18 as well. Um, at the moment, we can only really bring out so much and more sizes and restock just to see what's popular. Um, but the new collection... It's coming out soon we'll stock all sizes going forward it's just this this collection because obviously it's just the first um so that's really exciting so definitely keep your eyes peeled on the bly instagram and my instagram um on the bly instagram there's going to be like a how to style segment um of like how i would style each item three different ways so definitely keep your eyes peeled over the next maybe next week for that um, there's definitely going to be a lot more fun stuff on the gram for you guys and maybe a giveaway, I don't know, I don't know, maybe. Um, but also to tell you my outfits for transmit, so I'm having a dilemma, I'll just tell you about it right now, is my phone going to cut it, but it's actually like, right so this is my dilemma, also by the way, I know I look like a catfish but how nice is this outfit for PLT? I absolutely loved it. Um, right, so I basically tried on this outfit for Forever Unique, right, today. It's one from my collection. Right, I'll turn the brightness down in case you can see it better. So this is it here. And I thought, oh my God, for transmit, right? Love it. But then I'm like, is it just too casual? But then the problem is with that, it is backless. So the back of that play suit is like this. So you would be able to see it, and I'm getting my hair put up, so you would be able to see my big, ugly sports bra. So I ordered this off ASOS, which I'm hoping is fine, because obviously it's still too early to go out with a bra on. So that's the bra. And I ordered it because it's like really low back. It's meant to be like that. So that's an option. The other original option is was meant to be this outfit. I need to watch because my vagina is on show. Um, is basically this, right? But this t-shirt was meant to come underneath the skirt and it doesn't. So I've had to, I basically ordered eight tops from different websites now 
all men's tops um, and I hope that they're long enough that basically I want the t-shirt to, can you see? How would that? Can you see that? So basically I need the t-shirt to come under the skirt. I really hope you haven't seen my vagina. Hi guys, I'm just having some lunch. I'm just back from my meeting with Aquarius. It went really, really well. Why is that not charging? Um, so yeah, I'm not super duper hungry. So I'm going to just have, I bought any abs and asked to try to pick up some messages because I'm going to be hung over on Saturday and I thought, I know I'm going to want like a bagel or something, something non gluten like something that's not gluten free. Um, because the thing I miss the most is bagels. Like I can't even tell you how much I miss a bagel. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd pick up. So I picked up a sushi from the Asda bit and I just picked it up in the tuna one. It seemed to be like the healthiest one. So I thought, okay then. I need to walk the dogs before I get my nails done, so. And this is just like a hoisin sauce that I put on. And I haven't watched the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills yet, so I thought, kill two birds with one stone, you know? So I thought we could have some sushi together. It's been a while, it's not a yip on obviously, so disappointing, but can't always be a yip on. The only thing we asked us to shoot is it does always stick together. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is definitely the most elite housewives that they are the best. I felt good waking up to this when my mom was passing. I actually feel her more now than I did. I thought it's going to haunt me for the rest of my life. I am a very good person. And I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. I'm just realizing that there is a lot more to her than I thought. And not in a good way. How dare you question my empathy? <laughs> You're a soulless person. Stop! Hold up. You need a new will on? Here I am. It's kicking off. How could this tracksuit from White Fox, by the way? I've got the beauty box braid in today. I'm going bougie. Okay, go ahead. So if you want to be a mother, and make stop. Me real. 
Excuse me. Son, don't talk like Don't talk like that to her. Don't talk like that to her. She's asking me to be real. Stop. 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 I don't have to do it. We have, as you say in English, we hit the new low. Not really mean. No. No. When it comes to miscarriages, it's really mean. Oh, you're you, didn't, you didn't know that I had miscarriages? Why would we know? Listen, she lost a baby, you did not. Maybe years ago, I don't know. This is recent. What does that mean, we don't know? That's insinuating that I'm lying. That's the meanest thing you've ever said to me in my life. Breaking my heart and disappointing me in our friendship. Cool. You know what I'm No. I'm She's just looking at me like I'm the devil. So I'm going to have this and then we'll get my nails done. But I ordered stuff to get my nails done. So I need to hope that it's came from Amazon, but I don't think it has. To my understanding of human nature, I feel there's something off inside me, like in general. So until I figure out what that is, it's probably best not to poke me. Oh, God. 